If you ever ask yourself if a short sale must be approved by, uh, you've come to the right place, although the answer may not be what you expect. Hi, my name is Don Thornton. I've been doing short sales for almost 20 years. I've helped well over 2,000 homeowners get out from under an upside down property and save their credit by getting them out of foreclosure. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you need to understand how the servicing company works and the banks negotiated for the servicing company, how the ownership of the mortgage is very important and often overlooked. And finally, uh, there's a third component here. If the if the uh, government insures the property, or the mortgage, whether it be FHA, VA, USDA, that's another layer of approval that has to be done. So let's talk about understanding servicing companies. The biggest, um, well, one of the biggest uh, misperceptions I hear a lot in my career is when a homeowner or an investor or a real estate agent even, they talk about how the, the company that's sending the mo monthly mortgage statements is the owner of the mortgage. And that's just not true. So for example, if you have select portfolio servicing is sending you uh, your monthly statements, you think that select portfolio servicing owns the property, but they don't. And this is always a question that comes up when they get served with the legal paperwork for the foreclosure. They see the Liz Pendens, which that's the name of the document that's filed initially announcing a lawsuit. They say, well, the SPS is not on here. It's some pension fund or it's some kind of trust, you know, US Bank, NA Trust or whatever. And they, don't, they said, what is that? It's like, well, yeah, that we'll get into that. We'll talk to you about that. But yes, a servicing company is paid by whatever entity owns the mortgage to handle the affairs for them, for example. So let's say if it's a hedge fund that owns it, or let's say even, uh, you know, if it's a government owned like back mortgage like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, those businesses are not going to be sending you monthly statements. They're going to hire a company to handle all that for them. They're third parties. Okay, that's what that's what these types of uh, servicing companies are. Now, in a short sale, you absolutely do have to get the negotiator who works for the servicing company to sign off on this. But if even the negotiator says yes, I'm good, they still have to go to a different level to get the final approval. So that's the one thing you have to understand is that the first hoop. It's just getting the servicing company to sign off on the short sale. It does not mean the short sale is over and done with. And it's very important to establish really good relationships with these negotiators for all these servicing companies. And because we've been doing this for 20 years and done so much volume, we know most of these negotiators on a first name basis. They know us, they give us preference because we give them everything they want exactly how they want it. And they don't have to go back and forth and so forth. So they prefer to, to spend their time on companies that don't waste their time and give them exactly what they need to be able to get approvals. Because listen, negotiators get paid as well, on bonuses on these things they close. So what I'd like for you to do is go down to the corner here and hit the subscribe button. Uh, you Obviously, if you're on my, my video here watching about uh, something about short sales and you're interested in the subject, and I'm sure you'd like to be notified when uh, I upload a new video because I do them all the time. I have 20 years of knowledge here I'm trying to get out to the world. So let's talk about the ownership of the mortgage. This is the second hurdle you have to get approval from. So let's say we've done our job. We've uh, negotiated with the servicing company, the bank, the, the, the servicing company's uh, negotiator, and the negotiator says, okay, I think we're good. But they then have to send that up the ladder to whatever representative is at the, uh, you know, the ownership of the mortgage to get them to sign off on it. So that process can be another week. It could be another two weeks. It just depends on, on the bureaucracy level of whoever owns the mortgage. But remember, we're talking about you know, other banks, we can be, um, you know, Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. It can be hedge funds, pension funds. It doesn't matter. Some entity owns that mortgage. They're the ones that are actually taking the monetary hit on the discount. So they have to sign off on it. Now, generally speaking, they will rubber stamp what the bank's negotiator, or excuse me, the, the servicing company's negotiator, uh, you know, recommends, but not always. Sometimes we've had them come back and say, no, we want, we want $5,000 extra. And you would think that 
if you're losing fifty thousand dollar discount with five thousand dollar i mean i mean would five thousand dollars really be that big of a deal but sometimes they they do and so we have to it'll get kicked back to the negotiator and the negotiator will saying you got to come up with another five thousand dollars so that does happen although generally speaking it doesn't happen because we're so good at providing all the documentation that that the negotiator would need and what the person you know who makes the decisions at the, at the at who and the ownership of the mortgage that they have everything done it's like okay yeah this makes sense and we're going to go ahead and sign off on it uh what i would love for you to do is sign off on the idea of going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment uh if you like what i'm doing if you have any questions any follow-up requests if you want me to do a video that i haven't done yet about whatever you know anything to do with the foreclosure and short sale niche by all means leave me a comment i will i'll definitely respond to you i love to engage with my viewers so the third layer of approval that you have to get in a short sale is when the government has an insurance that's, that's protecting the bank from loss. And so what is that? It's very simple. It's FHA, VA, and USDA. Now, remember that these federal government institutions do not actually provide the money for the mortgage. In other words, if you, if you borrow money from FHA, if the federal government's not cutting, cutting a check to buy that house. They're insuring it. They are telling the, the, the banks that we will insure the mortgage. And that, and that way, uh, the, there'll, be less of the, there'll be less of an interest rate. Okay, So if you, usually FHA mortgages, for example, they're, they uh, have a lower credit score uh, and, or requirements. So it's, more, it's riskier for the banks to take on someone with, a, say, a, a 620 credit score or 580 when um so they would they would, in under normal, normal circumstances they would uh, charge you a higher interest rate but the federal government's saying no 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 you charge a good interest rate we'll insure it because it's the government's policy they want to get people in mortgages they feel like home ownership helps the economy and helps society so that's why they do that so you fha va and usda they insure these mortgages so therefore you also need to get their approval so that can be a three-step process, which is another reason why these government-backed loans can also take a little bit longer to get approved and get through the short sale process. So if you're a homeowner and you are thinking about doing upside, excuse me, doing a short sale, you're upside down on your mortgage, you may or may not be in foreclosure, but you definitely need to sell. I want you to go to the description of the video down here and click on my, my link. It's don, donbuyshouses.now.site. And every, every uh, page on my website has a big area for a form. But the form is really, really simple. It's just your name, your email address, and your telephone number. Send it to me. I will or click through the click on the uh, form. I'll get I'll get it notified and I'll reach out to you and we can talk about how we can help each other out, how I can help you get a short sale done and get your credit uh, saved and get this get you out from under this upside down house and get you back on recovery for your credit. If you're a real estate investor and you want to learn how to do this, you want maybe I, I, you know, I teach people for free and you want to send me these types of leads that you find because you can't monetize them, I will definitely joint venture with you. I will definitely teach you how you can make this a very lucrative second income stream. So also there's a link down in the below, reach out to me and we can talk about how we can work together in joint venture. And if you're a real estate agent and someone wants you to list their short sale property and you're just not into it and rightly so, they can be terrible if you don't know what you're doing. So why even try? Just refer it to us and we'll do all the heavy lifting for you and you can get your 25% commission and a referral check once we close it. So I want to thank you for uh, watching this video and I'll see you next time.